What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of my Dark Deku Cosplay series. Today's episode, we're going to be working on the belt and the pouches. Now, this video is recorded during Con Crunch, so I'm working on every other part of the costume at the exact same time. So you're probably going to see some pieces or um, processes from other costumes into this video. So I wanted to explain that a little bit. And if you watched to the end of my previous video, then you would know that I have a giveaway going on on Instagram. That's still going on. The winner's going to be announced Christmas Day. And if you're interested in that, it's an entry grade Izuki Midoriya build by Bandai. It was one of the prizes I got for winning Best Novice. Uh, craftsmanship in anime frontier and i thought it was a proper giveaway so if you're interested in that the link to my instagram is going to be in the description and also finally before i let you go um we're almost at a thousand subscribers and i would really like to uh reach a thousand by the end of the year um last i checked i was at 931 subscribers so i'm really close so i would really appreciate if you were to uh, share my channel with anyone who you think might be interested i would really appreciate that but i hope you guys enjoyed the video and follow along and i'll talk to you guys later so right now i'm working on the belt strap and you can see here i have a piece of paper that I drew out with all my measurements on it so this is not going to wrap around my whole body because i still need like a little area in the front where the belt clip can go and also a little bit of elastic strip can go as well so i cut that out on uh, this piece of foam here it wasn't long enough so i just glued two pieces together that's gonna be fine because they're gonna be attached with some red faux leather here so i already cut this one to size but what i want to do is i saw a photo of the back of his belt there is a little piece of a uh, zipper there that's not going to be functional on mine but i do want to still add it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to 3d print a file of a zipper and i think i'm just going to make it to where uh maybe like 20 centimeters it doesn't have to be too long i'm going to print this in red tpu so that it's uh stretchy it's elastic and it could bend with when i wrap it around myself and then i'm going to cut out a little piece here on the edge of the zipper i'm going to have a little thin piece of tpu lining around it and i'm going to sew that part onto here and then finally glue it onto here and then i'm going to wrap it around i have to wrap it around this uh geometry here this might be the easiest part um this is not a non-functional zipper that i just found a model on a free model online i'll leave it in the description you can see this part comes off and it's tpu so it's super flexible and it's super strong it's i, I only printed this at a 0.5 millimeter height this little section here and it is super strong and uh this part is movable because in the in the reference photo i have it's like this on its side. So what I'm gonna do is I cut out a slit onto the faux leather here. You see I marked the middle and then I marked where I'm gonna fold it. So I just cut a line here and then I cut little triangles in the end. Now I'm just gonna fold this over and then uh, use contact cement to glue it down. Uh, before I do that though, this fabric is very uh, soft and fluffy. I'm just gonna grab a lighter and then burn those little uh, fabric, you know, particles just so that when I use the contact cement it uh, grabs onto this a lot better. All right so now it's a lot smoother than this fluffy area over here. I'm just gonna fold it over the line that I made. I'm gonna sand a little bit on the base part here so that way that the contact cement sticks onto it better. So I kind of uh, poorly sewed it onto the vinyl here. Um, this is gonna be on the right side of the belt, so that means that this is the top of the belt. And what I'm doing now is I am getting contact cement. I singed off all like the fibers over here, and I'm gonna put some contact cement all over here, all over here, and then glue it onto the piece of foam here. You can see I've cut the uh, end here so that way I could wrap them around this area here. So the first one I'm gonna do is this middle part here. I'm just gonna fold it over like that. And after that piece, these two pieces on the side are gonna fold over and then those are gonna stick there. And then I'm gonna sand the top of each of these just a little bit and then I'm gonna fold this one over. And then uh, later on, I'm gonna fold this one over.
Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how I got this crinkled look on the belt buckle so that it also stretches as well. So you can see here I have a two inch wide elastic strap and I cut it to three and a half inches. And also I have here a little tube that I made of the same faux leather. So the circumference of this hole is uh, five and a half inches and then this one is six inches long now in the end i might add a little bit more fabric to the end of this and here's why and, but to attach it onto this belt buckle here you can see i needed a lot more space after this so that i could properly sew it on right now it's just hand sewed on very crudely but i think i'm gonna uh, take that take those off and then make this a little bit longer so that i could sew it onto this seam right here. And after that, this will get glued and then sewn onto the rest of the belt. So you can see it's sewn and then I flipped it inside out. And then this will get stuck into there. And you can see it's sewn on the edge right there. After that's put in, I leave uh, extra space for the belt to sit onto it. Uh, I sewed it straight down. And then after you do that, you basically just grab it and then pinch it towards the end. Once you've pinched enough in, I go ahead and grab my clips and then hold it together and then I sew it straight again. You can see here I did that four separate times so I, get, so I made four different things and now it's gonna stretch and it's gonna it's gonna make the rest of the belt hold on to my body a lot better. Here is the belt pouch I'm gonna make. You see I wrote down, um, it's gonna be four inches wide, two inches deep. I'm gonna be making four of these, so I'm gonna go ahead and mark this on four other pieces. You can also see that the flap going over it is not attached here. That's just because I'm making the most of whatever faux leather that I have. So that's gonna be um, cut out separately and then sewn on separately. So here is how I'm doing the lid for the pouches. So I have two pieces here and what I did was I glued on the red pieces on the very edge, not the bottom piece. And then what I did was I sewed along that line here and then I flipped it inside out. So that way I have that uh, edge. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some spray adhesive on the inside and then flatten it so that way it stays flattened and then make another sew around the edge here all the way around so here are the pouches that i have after i said what i did i sprayed this spray adhesive into the inside of this and then i sewed it on with two stripes right here also 3d printed uh these boxes you can see they're kind of convexed on the sides and then con and then concaved in the back here so that way when i put them in just like with my spider-man noir belt pouches it keeps its shape and also with the convex shape around the boxes it's not like a flat box so you can see there is like some dimension in there so it doesn't look uh it doesn't look that cheap if it, if it were to have been uh just a just a really flat symmetrical box so i have those pieces and then and if you remember um this pack from my uncharted uh where i made the custom belt loop to hold up the grappling hook i have a bunch of these things left over and they're just perfect um for pretty much most things but this will work too so all I did was I grabbed a few of them. I uh, sanded the top of these pieces here and then I sprayed them with an undercoat of red and then I went over that red with a little bit of black. So if you could see the detail here, it's kind of freckled a little bit and that's really what I wanted. Before I attach these onto these pieces here, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of weathering first. So you can see uh, these pieces would be attached to the top end here. And I want to weather underneath it before I actually attach it. Cause if I, if not, then you're gonna see this kind of halo effect around it of just like a clean area for no reason. So before I attach these, I'm just gonna spray, I'm just gonna use my airbrush to spray some um, brown, some really tan and some uh, black areas around these pieces. I made four of them. I'm, I'm gonna do pretty much the same process on each of them.
So as of now, the pouches are done. These pieces are attached. Um, I think uh, I'm still gonna do like the faux scratches on this. I might do a little more weathering the bottom. Maybe uh, maybe print some more of these that actually have a bottom to it. So that way I could like um, tear up the bottom here a little bit and I could still be able to put stuff in there. And then here is the belt. There is the zipper on the back, not functional, um, but this does move and it is there. You can see I've marked with a marker where I'm gonna put holes so I can attach these pieces to. Here is the belt buckle. So these stretch out. I'm gonna do some scratches on this and then maybe a uh, an angle over, and then maybe do a little bit of uh, dry brushing with the silver rub and buff. You can see here, I have holes already drilled out. I just used the regular drill. And I have these pieces that I 3D printed. I, I was looking for ways to attach these clips onto this belt the way I wanted to. Couldn't find anything anywhere, so I just I just 3D printed this. And then another challenge was attaching this onto the belt itself. I decided that I was gonna do pretty much the same thing I'm doing with the um, the iron soles, the shoe armor. So I have these pegs here. I might reprint these black just so that they're a little bit harder to see. But basically, these fit into here. And then those holes go into the holes here. I made it a tight fit so they don't they don't move that much. And then on the back here, you can see I have these rings. These are 3D printed with TPU, which means that they are flexible. And that's gonna help me push it through the ends. And that's gonna hold the piece there. So I just add one of these to each end. And I've already I've already uh, tried this on. I don't you, you do not feel these at all. And now you could attach these pieces onto the belt like that. And then you could remove them. If I somehow severely damage any part of this, like like let's say um, this top piece just rips off because my sewing wasn't good or something, then I could just take this off, replace, re replace whatever I need to replace, maybe reattach that end. And then when need be, I just reattach that on and as good as new. That's also gonna help with uh, transporting this costume around. So there's those pieces. There's gonna be another one right next to it over here and on the other side. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. And I'm gonna weather the belt buckle here and then this is pretty much done.
Thank you guys so much for watching the video. And as I'm sure most of you guys know, um, I went to San Japan and Anime Frontier in this cosplay. So there is a bit of con damage, but I really like what it did to the belt. You can see the lighter red areas, just stuffing this into the back of the car and then driving miles there and back to both San Antonio and then uh, Fort Worth. You can see the cosmetic damage that is done to the paint job here. And I really like it. I think it adds so much more to the pouches. So I just wanted to share that just in case you want to do it to yours. It's just some clean spots on it. But again, thank you guys so much for uh, watching all the way to the end of the video. Again, I'm doing a giveaway on Instagram for an entry grade Izuku Midoriya. The winner for that's going to be announced Christmas Day. So you might still have time if you're watching this uh, very early. Pretty soon, I'm going to try to do a live stream of this Gundam. That should be very soon. I think I'm going to do it on Twitch. That's going to be linked in the description as well. Finally, uh, once again, I'm almost at a thousand subscribers and it would re I would really appreciate it if you could uh, share uh, my vi my channel with with anyone you think might be interested just to help me reach that other milestone of a thousand subscribers by the end of the year because that was my goal for this year but that's it for now hope you guys enjoyed the video and were able to follow along and i'll see you guys in the next episode of whatever i do goodbye